Hey everybody, 2 for 4 here. Welcome back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. In the last one, we went and got, uh, the armor of the Crusader, which looks pretty nice. Oh wow, apparently ours does to protect more. And, uh, <clears throat> we're here because while we were in that cave, after I cut, I found a whole bunch of books. And some Falmer armor, of course, that I picked up off there. Annoying dead bodies, so... We're gonna head into the, uh, library here, okay? And put what we picked up in here. Oh, yeah. There we go, nice. Anything else of interest we picked up? Uh... The real Baron Zaya, I'm pretty sure we have most of those, though. Yeah. Are they different? Like volume two, is there a difference between the real Baron Zaya unabridged and the real Baron Zaya unabridged? Hi. Uh-huh. Ho Sudoki. Wonderful, thank you. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> the Staff of Hasadoki. Oh my. Summons an ancient wizard for 60 seconds. Neat. Uh, I'm probably going to place it on display just because... What am I going to do with it? Um, Amulet of Mara. And that's it. So that'll go in there. And then we'll go up here and we'll place uh, the stuff in the armory that we got, which is Falmer stuff mostly. We did get a couple things here and there. Mm-hmm. Where's the Falmer stuff? It's right here. Should be right here. You must wait for the current sorting operations to complete before using displays. Well, fine, I'll wait. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Okay, the staff of Hosideki. Where would something like that go? Staff of Hosideki. Staff of Hosideki. Staff, 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 staff. Own ancient Nord Grayswater Scorching. Maybe on the inside here. Dragon Priest Staff. Dragon Priest Staff. The Under King's Will. Sealed Staff. Staff of Rubble and uh, nothing. I have Melka. Froldir. Hebnarak. Charming. Staff of Osadeki. Wonderful. And I also think we have some stuff to put into the. Uh, the Hall of Natural Science, yeah. There we go. Balmer display. Chicken, horse, cow, dog, frost troll. Can I do frost troll? Ew. Goat? No. Hmm. Probably can't do that. Can't do any of these. Or these. These are the fishies. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are just plants. Okay. Frostbite, Charis. Charis egg and a Charis chitin. God. I, you know, I had three and I dropped one because I was over encumbered because I th thought the farmer would need one. But look, it does. A spider egg. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. But whatever, fine. Elk display, no. Saber cat display. A tooth and pelt bear display. Bear claw, bear pelt. Come on, what do I have then? I have saber. Oh, there's snow. Snow pelt. My freaking mistake. <clears throat> Fine, be that way. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go drop some shit off at the safe house and I'll see you guys back in a little more. 
All right, here we are again at Lull Moor. Uh, this is the way down to the mining tunnel. To the apparent brass. Oh my god, how did you clear out this much with that tiny ass drill? I am so calling bullshit. I mean, that drill has to, like, have exploding properties, because this is a big freaking hole. Nice lights, though. Just keep heading down, see what the mystery is. Got a rod of ohm. I wonder if it works on fabricants. Hope so. What do we have here? A dead chronographer miner. All right. Cool. Uh, am I supposed to like get over this somehow? You want me to just climb on over? Dead miners. And here's your drilling machine. <clears throat> your tunnel bore that tiny, tiny drill at the front. All right, well, let's go off into the brass forest. Oh, if this is anything like the boiling foundry, we are in for a fucking doozy. I will tell you that much. It is way too fucking quiet. What is that? This place makes me really uncomfortable. The steel hollow. I won't right, jump into the great grove, I guess. Oh my god. A family man. I don't know if you noticed, but that thing almost killed me in one hit. I don't know if we're prepared for this, guys. I honestly don't think we are. These family man things are obviously way overpowered. Great, poison. My favorite. Fuck it. No. There are some things we're just not prepared for, and this is one of them. That boiling foundry was hard enough, and these family mans are just gonna kill the shit out of us. So I think... We say no to that. <laughs> but at the same time, what if we actually accomplish this episode? Ay, ay, ay. Well, screw it. I'm going to pause now and we will we will accomplish something this episode. Hi. Heard any rumors? Really? Awesome, thanks. Okay. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to ride on from old Gorik's dead. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> awesome. That's not even why I'm here. But that works. Okay. Here we are. 
you may have understood very easily what we are about to uh, do. And if not, well, you'll see. I hear you're an expert in vampirism. I'm looking for a cure. Hi. Here you go. Very well. Meet me at the summoning circle in the marsh at dawn. You shall banish the creature you have become. Awesome. I will meet you at dawn then. Here we are at dawn. Good, you're here. Let's get this over with. Okay. I call upon oblivion realms. The home of <laughs> those who are not our ancestors. Answer my plea. Huh, my eyes derping. Yet, there is new life. In oblivion there is a beginning for that which has ended. Uh-huh. I call forth that power. Accept the soul that we offer. As the sun ends the night, end the darkness of this soul. Return life to the creature you see before you. Okay. Yay! No longer a vampire. Thank God. Okay. We did it, guys. We beat the freaking vampirism. We had it for so freaking long, and finally we're just like, no, no more. We're done. It's over. No more vampirism. I don't want to go in here. Which means we have stamina that will actually come back in the day. We don't get to teleport and then hear that screeching ee noise every time we do it. Look, I'm out of stamina, but look, it's coming back. It's amazing. And while we're here, there is an item of interest in here. In the Temple of the Divines. <laughs> Sorry. All right, where is it? You cannot help. Activate. The Valor and Courage of Plenty of White Strike is nothing short of a legendary, and his legacy lives on in the rugs of the Eight Divines. Ages after his death, the Ninth of the Nine sought to retrieve his relics, and so they did, but only for a time, because strife and pride tore the Order asunder. Generations later, the Order was reformed, and the relics regathered in an effort to put an end to Umriel the Unfeathered. At the end of the Great War, the relics were brought to Skyrim to preserve them, sealed in chests such as this, and only be opened by one who bears the will of the Divine. The Sword of the Crusader. Oh, gift of all. Okay, deals fire damage and do and damages magicka. Bing. Wonderful. What's next? We've got so many more artifacts to uh, collect. The Divine Crusader items. Mwahaha, <laughs> they are everywhere and I want them. I want them all. Thing. Okay, so which one should we go for next? We have over here we got the boots of the Crusader. Over here we have the shield. There's the helm. Over here we have the mace. And right here we have the gauntlets. I think personally we should go for the shield and the helm. Kind of a double whammy maybe. Not really close to anything. We'll go to Felgo Cleep, and I think Felglo Cleep. And then we can pretty much just go and get the shield. We'll go get the shield. That sounds fun. Oh, of all the automatons left behind, the Centurions are among the most technologically impressive and deadly. That is a combo that no one appreciates. Deadly and impressive. 
anyway guys i'm actually gonna end the episode off here uh but thank you so much for watching having two or four uh and i'll catch you guys on the flippity flop side just remember to be nice to each other and all will be fine uh when i see you next time we'll be at that new thing so all right hi Okay, well, I'll see you guys there, alright? Well, thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the flip of the side. Bye bye! -bye.